In this video, we're going to look at how Grays Lake Central High School uses technology to communicate with its families, how families can use technology to communicate with Grays Lake Central High School, ways to get connected, and encouraging good tech habits for your students. Grays Lake Central High School communicates with its families in a variety of ways. The most important, timely information will be distributed through email blasts from our Blackboard system or by phone using our rapid communication system. The school will be using the email addresses and phone numbers that were provided during the registration process on InfoSnap. If you need to revise the contact information you provided, please reach out to the Registrar's Office. Grays Lake Central uses PowerSchool for scheduling courses and grade reporting. Parents should access PowerSchool to check their students' progress throughout the year and to view progress reports and report cards. If you have not already created a PowerSchool account, check out the instructional video using the link provided. If you have already created an account but are having trouble logging in, please contact the Registrar's Office. Please note that PowerSchool is not available during the summer. Parents and students will be able to log in again a few weeks into the new school year. A link to PowerSchool is available on the GCHS website. Consider adding the PowerSchool app to your smartphone or tablet for quick access. Notifications can be customized within PowerSchool for regular progress monitoring. Grace Lake Central uses Schoology as its learning management system. Teachers can post course materials, update the calendars, send updates, create assignments, etc. for their students to access from any device. Students and parents can use Schoology to stay informed with what is going on in each of the courses the student is enrolled in. Staying connected to Schoology is a great way to be proactive in the learning process and not reactive after the final grades are posted. If you have not already created an account, check out the instructional video using the link provided. If you have created an account but are having trouble logging in, please contact the Technology Integration Specialist. Courses will appear in Schoology for students and parents a few days before the start of the grading period. Previous courses can be accessed using the Archives option. Students and parents should also consider adding the Schoology app to their mobile devices for quick access. For a less formal look at what's going on at Grays Lake Central High School and District 127, consider following us on social media. Grays Lake Central has a Facebook page and a Twitter account. District 127 also maintains an Instagram account. Links to the social media pages can be found on the school website. It is one of the goals at Grays Lake Central High School to effectively communicate with our families, but at the same time, it's important for us to hear from you. Please consider using email or telephone call to contact staff members at GCHS. A full list of email addresses and phone numbers is available in the staff directory on the homepage. Another option for communicating with teachers would be using the messaging system in Schoology. A great way to help support your students' learning is to get connected. Links are available on the GCHS homepage for both PowerSchool and Schoology. If you have not already created an account, Please watch for the upcoming mailing that will include the necessary codes to create an account linked to your student's account. Check out the instructional videos for more information on creating new accounts. Parents and students are also encouraged to download the PowerSchool and Schoology apps to your mobile devices. If you haven't already, consider bookmarking the GCHS homepage for quick access to stay informed of news and upcoming events. Also consider following GCHS and District 127 on the social media platform of your choice. Note that many teams and activities will also provide parents and students with information on how to stay connected with important announcements. Coaches and sponsors may use Schoology, social media, or other apps or websites to communicate with the people in their programs. Please make sure to sign up and connect when the information is provided. Finally, here are some tips for encouraging your student to develop good tech habits. If your student is a freshman, sophomore, or junior, then they should have a Chromebook for school use. It is important that your student bring their Chromebook charged and ready to use every day. If a student's Chromebook is running low on battery, they can take it to the LRC for charging. If your student is having trouble with their Chromebook, 
they should take their device to the tech office, room 2640, for repairs or replacement. If tech needs to keep the device for repairs, a loan or device will be issued. Encourage your student to check Schoology often for upcoming assignments, announcements, and study materials. This can be especially helpful if your student is absent. Students should also be checking PowerSchool regularly to monitor their progress, check for any missing assignments, and confirm their scores have been recorded correctly. Students should discuss any discrepancies or seek assistance from the teacher as soon as possible. Although many times cell phones can be an amazing learning tool, they can also be a distraction to the learning process when not used appropriately. Please encourage your student to read the cell phone policy for the school and understand the classroom cell phone policies for each teacher as they may vary. GCHS is also a bring your own device school and students can access school Wi-Fi as needed. Some newer devices may require security certificates to connect properly. Please have your students stop by the tech office 2640 with their device if they need assistance getting connected. If students need other devices for creative projects, they should check with the teacher or the LRC. Most importantly, technology should be used to improve communication and enhance the learning process. It is essential that the students use the available technology responsibly and professionally. Students are encouraged to speak to their school counselor, dean, or use the anonymous link on the homepage to report any inappropriate use or bullying that they witness or experience. Thank you for watching and please reach out if you have any additional questions.